Hi, Miss Zeb here, and today I'm going to share with some of my artworks with you. These are all abstract arts, and I'm going to explain what concepts I've started with and why I have chosen certain colors to show that, and also the elements and principles of um, design or art in each of them. In this one, I have chosen only different shades of blues, white, and black. The concept behind this is depth. You will see I have chosen the lighter colors at the top and as you go to the bottom I made it darker and darker so it's like a, a ocean depth kind of thing so depth is, is kind of a concept that you cannot see but you can feel. The elements of art I have here are since I have three lots of different shades of blue so that is value if you can see the triangular shapes, which are like the shape, and I of course have color. And I also do have textures, so you can have more than three things. All I want you to have mention only three. And the principles I have are a variety of texture, I have balance, I have pattern, and I have unity. Unity is when everything comes together and makes your artwork successful. The next artwork that I'm going to share is called Perched. You know the word perched means perched earth when the earth is so dry that it wants some rain. So I tried to create some texture of blues, uh, in the color blues, that is the concept of wetness, and the earth is the brownish thing. So you, you see how I'm starting off with an idea. And here I have balance, I have lines, I have shapes for elements of art, and from principles, a principle of art, I have balance, unity, variety for textures. I don't have emphasis and do you think I have movement? Yes, I do have movements with all the scratch marks that are there like moving, I have movement. Now the next one is called heat. Do you feel the heat? And here I mostly have value and color and texture that's it from the elements and from the principles I have balance I have um, unity and I do have a little bit of uh, emphasis I mean you couldn't see it there but I have emphasis now this one is called wild see without drawing an animal I try to create the feeling of wild just by creating all textures and uh, and stripes and all kinds of like black and yellow so it gives like a very primal f feeling towards it and I would suggest I'm not going to mention what I uh, principles and elements I have in there so you are supposed to figure it out this one is called nature and it has movement can you see how the green is flowing from one end to the other so it does not have emphasis but it your eye is traveling from one end of this canvas to the other one and uh, so and i created textures too and here this one is called vortex can you see where your eye is drawn into that like tiny white space surrounded by thick black line that's how create emphasis. You cannot help but look at that part first. So I do have emphasis here. I have unity and I do have balance. And the color and shape and texture, I have all those things too. This one I called celebration. Do you have a, do you see a happy, get a happy feeling by looking at that? It's like a, all the colors are splashing up and down. So you can create a movement by just, you know, creating lines in a certain way. So I call this celebration. So you figure it out what elements and principles I have here. And the next one is also called happiness. See, the happiness is bubbling up from both sides. And I have used gold and white. 
on in the background of red. So you see by choosing a certain colors how you create a feeling. I definitely have balance here. I have movement here, uh, but I don't have emphasis, but I do have unity. And in the elements, I have texture, I have value, and I have shapes. Now this one I call prisoner or prison or trapped, something that you cannot see. Prison you can see. So you can you have to name it in a such a way that trapped is an action. So you cannot, you can feel it. Say so inside those lines, those jaggedy lines, it's like your feeling is all bottled up and it's red and yellow. So it's not a very, it's very uh, unsettling um, feeling, but outside it's all nice and calm and blues and purples. So you're in, trapped inside an area and outside is uh, all very calm. So you have to start up with the concept and then go on from there. 